top of the morning. This is a pixie. Then another video. Um, this one I'm going to mention about um, dog man and uh, something else as well. Actually, um, might be a bit sort of gross. So anyway, go back to the video, just trying to get, get down the road. I had to f um, some strong thoughts about um, the dog man. I know uh, lots of people are interested in what the dog man possibly is, um, whether he's um, some inter interdimensional being. You know, does he does he exist as some sort of strange hybrid? And um, some of the strange qualities and folklore as well. Folklore, I can be able to clear up that. It's likely that the the entity has a strong um, fungus stroke bacteria um, somehow in its body. It, it's likely it doesn't actually bleed like a human, so it really is. It's like something um, you get out of Spider Man. <laughs> It's um, likely to be symbiotic in that kind of relationship to what its body is, and it gives that gives it the natural ability to shape shift. Um, but I think it uses genetic D well, it uses DNA as a kind of markers to um, alter its form. When it's been heard um, getting upright, they've heard massive cracking bones and weird noises like from the actual from the actual being itself. And it's popping. So, in essence, it's a zombie uh, type uh, creature. So, it, whether it was um, some symbiotic life form that's used the DNA of um, a wolf and uh, a man at some point to create some sort of hybrid creature, maybe it was um, a burial sort of ground. And. Um, And that's where it's it's spawned from. Uh, it could be that the actual virus or entity come from um, a meteorite. I can kind of see that in my mind. I wouldn't want to say that's where it's come from. But there was a type of um, something alien that's dropped off on this world. Some type of adaptogen, um, pathogenic life form that uses host's DNA to create a, I guess I guess when it hits a, a, a wall where it can't evolve anymore or it becomes at risk it probably goes for a period where it tries to mutate again so it's kind of like my intuition my higher self sort of feeding things through and in the folklore you would have uh, In folklore, you'd have beings that basically, like the vampires and so on, there's the silver, there's the garlic, uh, there's issues around salt as well. It's because of these uh, creatures, um, they're basically, um, because if they basically have a virus that's, um, or some sort of bacteria type genetics, then um, it, it will seriously hurt them. You know, it's a bit like the way that um, people who've got rabies have a kind of fear of the water and things like that. So the silver, because it can it can injure them, uh, damages them. So um, you know, it's quite lethal if they get hit by something that um, breaks down their pathogens and kills them because they can't really produce in their body. Which brings me on to something else as well. Why would a creature want to snatch people? Because I don't think it may be erogenous in some way that it has both genders in some way, but I've never heard a report of a baby 
um, dog man or a mother. So it's likely that the creature may be using other, other beings to reproduce. So it infects its host and then the host undergoes a trans slow transformation. Um, it's a bit like people that have got attacked by werewolves. So the idea actually they probably got attacked by a dog man or they got cut by it, the virus is entered their wound and then it's uh, this retro bacteria type stuff, which is like black goo, you know, it's all these things you can think of. It slowly um, changes the, uh, replaces the mitochondrial DNA and then it starts genetically editing the host, which means it's probably got a multiple strand DNA, which actually makes it, it's going to be, um, it's going to be alien. It's, um, it's got a type 5 strands of DNA that are wrapped into it. So it's able to uh, retroform the life form. So um, that's how it's, it's achieved um, various other forms of this um, genetic plague. Um, have uh, caused other sort of changes and that's where you get the um, vampire type uh, beings. Either way, they need some sort of fresh plasma. They definitely need things from the host uh, to feed off. That's why they have a kind of um, parasitic nature, but that would be to do with the um, viral type uh, thing living inside them. The symbiont is, um, is, is thriving that way. And I can see these things like little leeches type things inside them originally, and it's something that evolved in the swamp. This also means it makes them very hard to track because um, they can basically um, shape shift to a boggy land and sort of height immersed. Now the question is do they actually have fur these um, uh, dogmen and um, it may be that they genetically they rep replicate a type of fur but to touch it maybe not actually fur. And I don't think they're evil but they will cull the herd where they consider it weak They've got certain um, genetic traits from the creatures. They've, um, they've basically bound into their own genetic structure, and um, this has resulted in different forms. So yeah, that, anyway, that's a bit of on Dogman. Dogman's like a zombie-type creature, and that's why when it's shot, it's got rotten flesh and things like that. It doesn't feel pain, and it also doesn't respond like a normal creature would do. Uh, so that's why. Uh, the other thing I was looking at was, I was thinking about repairing a tooth and I come across a site that sells human teeth. And I was wondering if I could take the, like, the bone marrow out of the tooth and put it, basically where it fit in, they drilled it all out, put that and then possibly um, reshape the tooth and fit it into what the bit is missing and then seal it shut. But it's pretty creepy because I'd have a dead person's uh, teeth in my mouth, or maybe the ones that have been removed. So I guess if the tooth's healthy, it's fine. There's some other ways you can do it. You can use coral as well, and, and so on, but that might be a weird way. I mean, imagine you go to the dentist and you've physically replaced your teeth with a dead person's tooth. I mean, I don't know why they don't do um, teeth implants from people that don't have, don't have any use for the teeth anymore, basically. And all the healthy. However, what happens if I've got a tooth? That's I say it came from some dodgy uh, thing from a hospital, and the bloke had um, had AIDS. I mean, it's likely that the actual tooth um, bone marrow is likely to be dead, and so my um, body can basically take it over as a mineral source and um, regrow. But it's a little bit dodgy. So anyway, please sign off and speak to you soon.